Today's spooky spot, we are having a look at the zombie alert sound button. This is what you have for emergencies. This is the alarm that you press if zombies have invaded your school, your house, your office, anywhere. Uh, spot picked this up from the folks over at stupid.com. Fun place to pick up all holiday themed items. I pick up a lot of Christmas and Halloween stuff there. Uh, there's a try me button, but we won't try that just yet. Oh no. You don't want to start playing around with zombie buttons. People start getting a little too used to it. They're just going to think that you're crying wolf. Well, you're not really crying wolf. You're crying zombies. But sooner or later, you play around with these too much, people aren't going to believe you. And when the moment really comes when a zombie invasion is happening, you press that button. They're going to say, oh, knock it off, Jason. We told you. We're not interested in your zombie invasion. And then they turn around. They're eaten alive by zombies. Jason, they should have listened to him. But that's the problem. You don't you don't go a little too crazy. Don't go a little button happy when pressing this button. Speaking of buttons, speaking of things, it says zombie alert. Zombies detected in premises. Attention zombies ahead. Warning, you have been e exposed to the virus. Which I guess the person who has been exposed probably already knows. Proceed to quarantine and all infected persons must be terminated. I probably wouldn't mention that last one amongst a group of people, especially around people that look like they have had their arms bitten lately. I don't need like a, I don't need a big swarm of people trampling me, especially considering, you know, zombies are the bigger threat. On the back of the package, this comes us from the folks over at Funquai or F-U-N-Q-I, www.funquaigifts.com. It says pull tab to activate try me function. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take a terrifying break. We're going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the zombie alert sound button. You need these. So stay tuned, guys. I might save your life. Don't go anywhere. Woo! Though I did previously tell you don't go button happy with this because you want to use this for only emergencies. I still will go through and we'll play, we'll recycle all the sounds that come from the zombie alert button. First things first, we spin around the back. The battery compartment located down below. This is something much like a smoke alarm. You always want to make sure there's batteries in here. Bre fresh, brand new batteries because you don't want dead batteries in there. No pun intended. You don't want dead batteries in there when you need to be pressing this. Zombies don't wait for anybody. Certainly don't wait for you to get a brand new fresh pack of Duracells. No siree. There's also the sound speaker at the top. And there's some rubber feet going on there too. So if you want to put it on your desk, you don't want the desk to scratch. Because apparently that's a bigger priority than zombies invading the world. But at least there's some rubber feet underneath. So, a nice bright green. Always linked to zombies. Zombies are technically more on the gray side, but you can't mark it gray for zombies. It's just boring. So instead, we always go with the nice bright lime green. Zombie alert on the top. The button itself, you can see how the button is raised. Perfect for slamming. Somebody's running out. Crap! Runs back. Forgot to hit the zombie button. Boom, you can hit it right away. Everybody's aware of it. Okay, so let's recycle... Let's cycle through some of the sounds on the zombie alert button. There's six of them, and we'll go through them together. Press the button. Zombie alert! Zombie alert! Zombie alert! I like how it sounds like it's a car salesman or somebody from The Price is Right announcing the zombie invasion. Let's try it again. Ah, is that a zombie? It's odd that that would be part of the button. You would think that that would be what somebody would be saying and not so much something you want to announce. At any rate, pressing the button again. All infected persons will be terminated immediately. Again, this would be uh, a good warning to indicate to people, but maybe not tell it to the people that have already been bitten. They get a little antsy when it comes to termination. The button again. Attention, zombie zone ahead. Hide your brain. Some people actually don't have to worry about this particular alarm. Some people don't have enough brains that the zombie would be interested. I know enough people like that. Again. Zombie detected in premises. Proceed to the nearest quarantine. And again. Ah, is that a zombie? One thing is it's loud enough. You would hate to have a zombie button that when you press it, it whispers. Hey, guys. There's a zombie in the premises. What did that button just say? Oh, I'm sure it was nothing. 
Uh, it's a good loud sound, perfect for Halloween, of course. You have people over, maybe somebody walks in, you could press the button right away. Warning, you have been exposed to the zombie virus. And they, they would say, what? No, no, come on in, it's all right. We're just gonna have hot dogs. Yeah, fun little button to get, especially again for the trick-or-treaters out there in the Halloween season. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking this up for yourself, head over to stupid.com. Today's spooktacular spot, we're having a look at the zombie alert button. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more spookerific reviews heading to you this month of Spottober. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.